uh, you know, you're definitely expecting Entropic to take this one. And, you know, unfortunately, the way that K23 has beat Entropic in the past has typically been using Nuke, which they've been struggling on recently. So probably expecting Entropic to take this one. Looks like uh, the execute from the pistol. Not something that you see terribly often, to be honest. The A side is a, a lot more reliable, but they've got a lot planned here. And it is going to be a quick rush in. There's so much utility coming over the top here so far. Mo's just hidden inside the smoke. He's sort of on the edge of it, though. They know he's in here. Knife out from Lackey. It's a little mental. He actually takes his head off through the smoke. And they're as yet to break into this B bomb site. I think he can't get in quickly. It is so damn hard, but it's absolute chaos right now. The Glocks seem to be coming back into things. The bomb eventually makes its way over towards the site. It is this flank from Adren, though, that could be absolutely massive. He has to do it all. However, he sneaks in for a couple. Looking for the third. Cool. He comes so close. Yeah, super clean stuff. I think uh, the two of them working in tandem really well. But yeah, that is that kind of game sense, that on the ball nature. However, Entropic are back with a vengeance into this round. And this is certainly how you do it, right? You've had some very slow build up rounds against the pistols. And now you look to make sure that they aren't caught sleeping. And unfortunately, they failed the test. Two go down early. No damage traded back. There's still plenty of utility here for the T side. You've just got to back away. That uh, was sorely lacking in the first gun round, and unfortunately for K23, even if they do pick up this one, it's going to be another buy coming up from Entropic regardless. And Norbert, not comfortable with just the 5v3, wants to go for more, but Adren's already gone down. Norbert will fall as well, and that's into the 3v3 immediately. Lackey, he gets flashed in as well. Blind up is Neelan, and he goes down 3v2 just like that. Yeah, again, this is just showing Entropic and, and the strength that they are capable of. I don't know if he's watching, but Tea Time made a very good video the other day about how well they play. Imagine once that smoke goes down, the T side are looking to burst in. Got a couple flashes lined up, and K23, despite winning the previous round, their confidence kind of knocked. You know, not taking super aggressive stances here, just playing the sneakier angles. Oh, fame! Oh. Going to get spammed out though. That again is the game sense that Entropic have showed. It's quite a few times coming into play. Can't catch a break. Fame one in seven. Several deaths, not really his fault. And the exec into the eight bomb site. Elian with the first. Mo trapped in towards the stack boxes here. He will be able to pick up one, but again, in Tropic, just when the exec comes out, they just destroy K23. I don't really know that they've had anyone, you know, as solid as the likes of uh, <laughs> Crad and Forrester, Lackey, even. But yeah, fame again, by the way. <laughs> I can see why he's just can't catch a break, man. Yeah, this poor guy. <laughs> As it's at least three or four of his deaths really absolutely have not been his fault, at least outside of positionally. And unfortunately, that's another one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Lackey going to find Norbert creeping up, hoping to uh, catch them with nades in hand. Just not going to happen, though. Solidly set up to deal with that. Mo finds one here. Oh, in from CT comes Adren. He's weary of a flank, though. And he's now, of course, the only one left. He does well to find that one kill, but... Nothing more coming. Entropic again, start off the round with a bang, and there's just no way in for the CT side. Yeah, solidly in the lead. I think 50 seconds left. K23 need a bit of a miracle, and they've got players in and out on both bomb sites. Very, very split at the moment. I'm not sure that this is necessarily the way to do it. I suppose Entropic have not really given you anything to go off of, but I would be more of a fan of grouping up. Yeah, because that happens. You just get instantly traded. We do have fame here pretty quickly, but he's now on 12 HP. You only have 30 seconds left, and it is confirmed that it's going to be the A bomb site, but still, ooh, or is it? They seem to be flitting about and not quite sure what they're dedicating to, but all the same, just play it smart. Maybe a little slow for my liking at the moment. Norbert hidden away. His head's going to get spotted out, though, and he will be taken down. Surely fame. Okay, you can get it done. They get... Kind of aggressive there, but the trade comes in cleanly enough and the 11-4 finish. CT Deagles, CT Scouts, very scary indeed. And as you can see, Fame has eaten a bullet from one so far. They're going to go charging in towards B. There's three players here ready and waiting. Forrester in for two already. Oh, he gets a third as well. Adren too low to deal with it. And the four on two has come out of nowhere here. Forrester, at this point, he spots out a bit more information. Maybe just needs to... Hold his tongue ever so slightly, not go too wide. They have lost a player in towards middle, so it's definitely 
not over just yet, but with an advanced position from Nickelback. Surely has to get checked. I think that's a fake out from Nealon that he's, you know, um, running towards A, but then they've got a player pushed up, so it's kind of null and void. And he knows it. He knows it. Nealon knows it was a fake. He comes in for the flank. He does pick up one. That's all he needs. 2v1, 30 seconds on the clock. They should be able to close this one out, you think. But Mo, he's just about the only player positive on K23. Definitely a chance for him to make this one go his way. Cool kind of lineup for the smoke as well. Let's him cross. Elian unsure which side he's coming in from, but we'll definitely hear him now. Oh, and he was already tagged up, of course. The scout makes quick work, so may as well get this one over quick if we're not going to win it. And uh, if we lose it, then uh, at least it'll be over fairly fast, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Rip the, the band-aid off oh, quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what's <laughs> happened there. Norbert's just walked in. Not check sandbags, even though Nickelback played it in the previous round. He's just tearing away with that MP9. They still... They managed to take him down. But I don't know whether they're able to break into the, the A-bomb site cleanly here. Elian is in pretty fast. And they don't actually have all members of the T-side just yet. It was all a fake. Adren flanking out. Seems to be loving this at the moment with the uh, newer iteration of K23. A bomb site doesn't go their way, but the B bomb site does as K20 as Adren rather with the Tech 9 gets the kill and retrieves himself an MP9. And unfortunately, Neilan retrieves himself a nade to the head, means Adren in the 1v2. Bomb planted for him here, but no long range weapon against a smoke, a flash, and you know, a couple of real weapons on the side of Entropic. It's gonna have to be some heroics. And the smoke on the bomb, Adren doesn't bite quite yet, but Elian's still gonna finish him off, pick up the frag, and Entropic on 14. No, oh, but on the AK though, trying to get a little more bang for his book. He does get one. Where's the Famas gone? Oh, it's the Deagle of Lackey though on the side that's going to do all the damage. He's the one that gets overlooked. He's got four to find in total. So far it is indeed just a nice little 2k. Can he go further? Comes a bit close, gets the head of the third. And the Orp doesn't care about his low HP. This is definitely, definitely winnable here. Mo's going to go on high, swaps across to the AK, spamming away one HP. And with the Glock, he's able to finish off. That is so damn close. It was, you know, K23, no utility, and Entropic on that T side with a full set. This yeah. time around, Entropic, they did use a lot of utility, but K23 didn't have much either. And Adren with the aggression straight through middle, trying to catch them off guard. Entropic a little bit too quick, a little bit too coordinated, bringing in the 5e two with the second from forester and that's the game essentially yep there it goes just like that um not too much to talk about to be honest with you they just try and like speed their way in yeah it is so well done to be fair and i think uh we're only a few rounds in but he's setting himself up for a pretty good result here neilan maybe finding the uh, moments of the previous rounds where they're able to just run in oh a little too solid fame's gonna get Rush down as well. He does manage to find the first, but not able to survive any longer. It's actually a man advantage right now for Entropic. It hangs loosely in the balance with, what, 9 HP for Nickelback, 42 for Forrester. Not really enough to take those wide swings, take those posted up angles even. Tried to respond very quickly across to the A bomb site here. Elian, he hears all of this though. Nasty. With the one looking he's he knows the ops probably posted he knows what's up there so he doesn't go for more and 2v4 k23 i mean they could even consider saving here i would not fault them they need something i think early into the move with them being split it needs a dren again to come in on one of his trusty flanks but time is the issue here Elian's going to push forwards a little bit and, again, use that time in their favor. Mo, not ready for it. Down to Adren. And I think with the bomb being that far away, there's just no way he can play this silently. Yeah, he's got to go barreling on in. And they're just so ready for it. He does not check Forrester. Forrester takes him down easily and then Tropic fine. And now K23, they have all the options in the world. Fame. Trying to do his best Adren impression. Not going to happen for him, though. It's really cool to the first one towards the A-bomb side. Great Nickelback, he's not ready for the player up close and personal. Molotov will split them up, but Elian no. also going to fall. It's now on to the B players. Oh, Forrester with the double peak, though. Able to get a triple, in fact, away from Dunst as he finds them all, oh. Voom. And those headshot angles, you've got to be careful with the swings that you take, Nickelback. So, trade it back in. Oh, Dunst 
does land. The kill not quite there. Elian, yeah, savvy to the fact that there's one pushing in. Forrester going to cover him as well, so he can go for a few more swings here onto the AK of his dead comrade. Blinded up Forrester, able to find one, but it's Elian. Perfect timing. Now gotten used to it, and it's not effective anymore. That's a need. Hmm. That's a Kobe if I've ever seen one. Ah, uh, too early. Nickelback was blind, but not before he'd started shooting at Adren. That's kind of shaky from uh, K23, to be honest. Oh, and he's ready for this. They must have done this before. Beautiful oh. stuff for Elian. Solidifying things. As you can see, that desperation. We saw it on Vertigo. They start to go down by a few rounds, and they just kind of send players here, there, and everywhere. A few different ideas. Maybe one of them will work. But half-arsed in all of them, you know? So not enough energy and, and entropic are able to get the better of every single play so far in this round i think crad's gonna peek up and finish things here and now taking his time trying to ooh, trying to find both a little bit awkward but he will indeed get them both will entropic stop it in its tracks really they don't have a lot of money saved up on most of these players it's only really a dren that's got the cash to speak of Ooh, fame gonna get blinded up he wanted to go for walking in look it might work on the t side but when you switch halves i don't think you can get away with it as much he almost found the timing, but he, he found the anti-timing where he just put himself in the exact position and Tropic was trying to clear there accidentally and got himself absolutely killed. And uh, it's very unfortunate because on the A side, it felt like K23, they were gaining some ground. They were not doing too poorly, but now into the 4v5, Adren forced to get aggressive and, well, it goes pretty well for him there at the very least, bringing it to the 4v4. He wasn't able to secure the gun, however, still brought the numbers back. He loves that though, doesn't he? He's solid, absolutely solid with his sneaky positioning. Aki will take him down in this round, but not before the trade comes in. Norbert winning the fight against Elian is probably the big one. The A side of things, that push, that opportunity, absolutely thwarted. Crad just clearing things with his eyes here. Neelan has got to be careful, playing it super passive. He doesn't really have the support as yet. He's ready for the speed to come in. He might just have spot the shadow, but Crad, with the pre-fire, able to take him down. It's a massive kill. An AWP on the retake, certainly not ideal. Crack goes down below as well, and the double spray. The problem is, you know, they are getting a little bit of chip damage. They've done, you know, nearly 80 damage combined, but again, they've used almost all of their utility, and it's going to be on Norbert now to win this aim duel. They line up. He can't pull transfer for the second. Seven health on Nickelback. He gets the kill. At least he did some damage, but still, that is a 4v4 benefit to the T's. Yeah, not wrong. Looking pretty good for them at the moment, especially with that missed shot from Mo. Neelan's in to cover. And so important that he does so. Forrester has been flashed in. He needs to find the double. They'll line up for him and he'll get it done. He will melt a little bit, but it's a team Molly. It's all good. Who cares? They're able to get that man advantage. There's uh, a flank, I suppose, coming in. But when you are the only one left, it's not much of a flank, to be honest. Denies the bomb flank at least now. Over-aggressive from Elian, if I do say so myself. But Dren... Not quite able to capitalize. We'll see whether he can take this. I mean, it'd be kind of a crazy one to pull off. And he's still going to go for it. There you go. In at long pretty quickly. Drops Elian. The remaining two players are pretty low. Definitely not impossible right now for Adren. Certainly could pull this off. He doesn't have a kit available. Going to win another fight. Where Nickelback is. And he has pulled the biggest trick of the game. This is where Elian's position becomes dangerous. If he's a cheeky peek. Oh, he misses oh. the shot, though. He's definitely feeling the nerves. That is a great find in midair from Forrester, though. Is he going to make the difference? I don't think so. He's left on his own and discovers there's a couple players on that B-bomb site, actually. Maybe you want to go towards A. Nickelback on 3 HP. Needs to be leading the charge, but then time is kind of of the essence. So, uh, really difficult here. Norbert with the off-angle out towards Long. Going to win his fight, and there's no way. Nickelback is 3 HP. I got the catch here because he's facing the wrong way, but he spins around at the perfect time constantly is very difficult indeed i do like this little setup though in towards middle not really finding too much success it's more over towards b quick frag comes in there drendo on the p250 very quickly even things up um, at long now they're backing off it's a strange pistol to say the least from these two teams crad gonna find the head of a dren that might just be enough to be honest with you four on three mo's pretty low that's a slightly different pistol from what you're usually seeing, but there's a reason that double boost up cat, you know, has been very common on Dust2 for 
a long time because middle you you think long is where you'd want a USP to be, but actually middle is more likely where you want the USP to be. If you can fight them from, you know, back cat or close double doors towards top middle, that is extremely long range. And you don't have that problem where pit is a, a, a bit of an issue there. And now we've got lackey playing one of these angles where his head is almost invisible behind the box from this angle. So it seems a little bit odd, but this is an angle Stewie 2k used to love to play. Uh, lots of players have played this historically, and it's incredibly tough to deal with for those glocks as he gets the first one and you can see k23 as soon as they saw him there they were they were worried they were a little bit hesitant for good reason but neilan does take him down 2v3 30 seconds gonna need to land some clean headshots yeah not a lot of hp to work with right it's a big thing there you go there's your first still got forrester at the back of the side that's a great crack angle and surely mo is easy oh, oh, oh. He wasn't missing, but he wasn't doing what he did on overpass and what he did in the second round right there. Oh, <laughs> Crad, that's a clean headshot. Straight through the doors, crossover, hit him in the head. 5v4 off the bat for Entropic. And Elian looking to make it more. He does pick up one, doing his best Norbert impression with the D to the dome, but he does get taken down to three in the process, which means at least something back for K23. Oh. What is going on? The Eagles are just so crisp from uh, so many different players, to be honest with you. Norbert needs to find some heads, needs to better the Eagles, but nothing really showing itself. Of course, him and Fame now the only ones left. Ooh, Fame going to get caught reloading? No, he doesn't get it off. Tag comes in, finds that kill, but not going to get away with the second. It's all on to Norbert. A couple of kills for him required. They are split on the CT side at the very least, but he's very apprehensive going into this. He's, he's got plenty of time to work with. The problem is, though, as he gives up some control there and he, he waits the clock down, he makes over, over it to A, he does allow them to pick up rifles. They don't actually go for it, though. Instead, they try and line up and catch him crossing, and that's the correct play, I suppose. Suspiciously far out. Mm. It has been an uncharacteristically slow round. There comes Crad. Oh, oh. no. Norbit, great shot from him. Elian, at the very least, doing the trade targets he's looking across the short adren side swipes him and they've got full control of this a bomb site at least for now three players in from short very quickly indeed here on the ct side nickelback playing like he's a team just entering his way through looking for a fourth and he's maybe gonna get it here adren gives him the opportunity but will take him down no 4k coming in and it means that k23 are gonna have to fight to pick up a seventh well, Adren, doing what Adren does. We saw him an awful lot on overpass. Not so much here. Just walk out and find kills. Trying to contain it in on the B-bomb site. I think they do have to be careful. Ooh, with how they respond to this one, Flash is pretty solid. Going to take him down, and they are now pushing into towards B. Big damage to the smoke taken. Lackey going to get caught reloading and blinded. Elian is here with the AWP. Forrest is not too far behind with that AK as well. So it looks good here. They're both so damn low. Head found. Fame will also fall. Norbert, the only one left. He's coming in with the backstab. Finds the first. But maybe he doesn't quite respect where Nickelback is at. Yeah, and he's going to get sprayed down. So there you are. The 9-6 half on the CT side for Entropic. Oh, body block of the smoke. Could certainly make a difference. You know, if there's any kind of gap in that. Will be absolutely abused. P250 retreat by Crad. It's Forrester from short, though. Catches him sleeping. Nobody watching it. Expecting them all at long, I suppose. And he will capitalize in the best way possible. Keeps on going as well. And they are now in between that rock and that hard place. He himself will get flanked out. Fame. Oh, no way. No way. He's not able to find the frag. It's all on to Neelan, the quick second. Does have a kit available. Crad is low, but the reposition from Crad, I don't think, going to be expected here. Maybe he's heard him. He is just checking all his angles. Working in the tip of the head. He doesn't see it. He doesn't have that x ray, but he gets it. Spins oh, around. Oh, my. And Crad has absolutely fluffed it. Few flashes, couple smokes. Maybe you want like some more utility to be able to fake out the CT side. They're going for a mid to B instead. A heavy emphasis on the mid. Ah, oh, Fame's going to get overlooked here. We've got plenty of support. The kills are going even though the damage not so much. Still one at back plat. Oh, it's got to stay alive. It's not going to happen. Elian actually wins that fight. A key one caught off in middle. Awkward fight, but Nickelback comes out ahead. And Neelan, I mean, he's in. Behind enemy lines, he could certainly go for this. Another clutch attempt, but that one a little too wild, perhaps. I think it's a trend we've seen throughout the series. Ooh, risky jump up there, to be honest. 
I'll hold the point because there's a rush coming out long as well. No, only good for the one. It's so damn blind here on the CT side. The return flashes are okay, but nickel back through the smoke. Bails his teammate out. Morbid's still around. The molly not quite perfect, so he'll be able to push forwards, but he just has to go for it. I think, you know what? I think he could have stayed in that corner. Hindsight, of course, but uh, all the same. Four on two now coming in. Entropic. Very unfortunate because he's been lighting it up all series long. Yeah, big time. Finding major consistency. But only with the AWP is the thing, right? So you absolutely have to make sure that he's got it. Oh. This is dangerous. You have to be careful not to give the kills back, though. Norbert going to be the first to fall, I guess, through the smoke. But must have been spotted to facilitate that. Bomb plant going to come in. Drone with the jump up. Tiny bits of damage. Crad is thwarted for a second, but he will punch the numbers in. Neelan, second player at Gandalf. He's been spotted out now, though. He tried to get the perfect timing. It wasn't quite there for him. Flash comes in. He's still... Doesn't want to move, but there's constant pressure from that spot, I suppose. Mo finds his frag. Dren with the jump up trade. Elliot and Forrester, though, holding things down. It's all onto a Dren. To keep them away from 15, it's not going to happen. Yeah, beautiful stuff from Not him. difficult at all. Not difficult <laughs> at all. AK in hand now as well, which is super dangerous. Mo up close as well. The flash ineffective. Or the return flash from Norbert is absolutely perfect. But they're only able to find the one. Ooh, Nickelback finds a quick head, I suppose. And Mo panics. Big damage done. Norbert still ready and waiting in on the site itself. You talked about him on the Deagle. Is one enough? CZ jumping shot. That would have been insane, but it doesn't quite land. Of course, it's all really down to fame, to be honest with you. With this AK, he's got to make it work. Absolutely has to run away with it, and especially so now that he's lost his teammate. 4K in from Nickelback. Can he make it the ace to clean up the game? Yes, he can. 16 to 10, as they'll take the series 2 to 1. You know, after map number one, after looking at, you know, your raw statistics and current performance, um, I think we thought it would be over in two and relatively swiftly over in two. So credit to K23 for making it competitive and keeping it close on, on map two and three. But ultimately, Entropic, the better team on the day, and they deservedly get the win.